Kennedy joins me now. Kerry, thanks for being with us. Can you just share a little bit about I mean, when you first heard about Alexei Navalny's death, what went through your mind? Well, you know, this is a terrible tragedy. He was the um, Mandela of Russia. He, but not only of Russia, but of the whole world in a way, because he carried forth the vision of accountability for crimes, of stopping corruption, and most of all, free expression um, of bolstering civic space. You know, at RFK Human Rights, we work on uh, civic space, the ability of people to criticize their government without fear of repression all over the world. And he really was the leader of that. I, I read the full letter that he had, had sent to you um, after he read the, the book about your dad. And I know you recommended us uh, Arthur Schlesinger book as well. Um, you sent Navalny a poster with an image of your dad with a quote from one of his speeches, speeches and a drawing also that we're showing. Navalny wrote back to you in part, I hope one day I'll be able to hang it on the wall of my office. What was it like to, to, to know that he was so moved by your father's life and by, by his experience and to have that exchange with him, to have that contact with him? Well, you know, I think he was known as somebody who was uh, constantly reading. He he was reading 10 books at a time. He was he read over 45 books last year alone. He had this incredibly in, insatiable appetite for information, curiosity, and a determination to share his views and um and he wanted everyone to be able to share their views and that is uh that's going to be really the outstanding legacy of his life his fight for democracy his fight for free expression and i think we owe it to him to take action not to just let this moment go but to take actions that we can as a government, as for me, as a human rights organization and the individuals um, to create change. How, I mean, how, the, the idea of letting Vladimir Putin get away with this, not holding him accountable, I mean, he has poisoned other people as, as well. Uh, do you think if the world had stood up to him sooner we wouldn't be in Absolutely. this position right now? Absolutely. If if the world had um, held Putin accountable for the uh, poisoning of President Viktor Yushchenko of Ukraine um, or of Navalny the first time or at, when he killed Magnitsky or when he committed atrocities in Chechnya, in Georgia, in uh, Syria, in Crimea, uh, Navalny would be alive right now. And in fact, he might be alive if we had sent Ukraine the, the funds that it needs right now so desperately to, to stop the Russians. Yeah. Um, so that's the main thing RFK Human Rights is going to work on in light of this is accountability. But I think the United States government, um, in addition to working on accountability, uh, the crime of aggression in Ukraine and uh, the, the the killing of Navalny. Um, I think that the U.S. government should hold that group of 400 um, oligarchs accountable. Right now, they and their families are free to walk all over Europe, and they are. You can find them skiing in Gestapo mm. uh, or sunning in Saint-Tropez. My God, yeah. why are we allowing that to happen? Yeah. And um, and then I think we really have to be concerned about uh, Navalny's lawyers and about the opposition political figures who are thrown in jail simply because they're supporting Ukraine. Yeah. And then finally, I think something that all of us can do in any little way that we can is support the Navalny Foundation. And you can find that online. Yeah. Kerry Kennedy, I appreciate your time tonight. Thank you.